Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a neat little effect on how we can build invisible walls like this that have something visible when you get close, but normally aren't showing. This is really simple and easy to pull off, but I think it uh, is a nice little effect. So if you're interested in learning how to do this, stick around. Okay, so this is what this scene looks like. Let's go ahead and rebuild this. So what I did was I grabbed a block and I'm just going to stretch it out so that it's the length of this thing here. Okay, so this thing should be collidable, but it's not going to be visible. Now we'll leave it visible for a second because we want to paint onto this thing. So paint has an opacity setting, which is really nice, which is why I use that. So let's just give it some paint like this and let's make sure we have surface snap on and I'm actually going to use the grid. So I'll paint along this using the rule, the ruler painter thing, like that. And now I'll just copy this and drag it over like that. Now we have this complete painting. I'm just going to make a couple clones. There we go. And I'll set these all to, I'll merge them all so it's all one painting now. So now in here we can play with our opacity settings. So I think I set it to like, I don't know, 20 or something. There we go. We can give it a little bit more paint if we want, and maybe a little bit of glow. You can really play around with uh, however you want this to work here. How this is going to work is we take our painting and our sculpture here and we group them together. Now inside the group, let's make the sculpture not visible. Okay, but leave it as collidable because this is a wall. Now in here we can set a label. So I'll go ahead and set this to scenery and we have this detected output. So I'll plug this into our opacity like that. Okay. Now inside of the player here, I just have this little trigger zone, which has a fall off that looks for the label of scenery for both visible and invisible. And that's pretty much all we needed to do. So we can see when we go into play mode, the wall isn't there. And when you get closer to the wall, it starts to show up. Now if you increase that, this, um, fall off zone it'll start to show up a little sooner right and so we can see we're not at the wall yet but it's starting to show up so that all depends on what settings you play with in terms of uh, the opacity we could increase this up to maybe like I don't know 40 percent so we can see like when we're getting closer it's starting to become a little bit more visible and we get all the way there it's like a little bit more filled in and now if we bring this camera behind the wall like that we can see that the players running around and when they get closer now there's like this invisible wall that they can't go through let's see one other thing we should probably flip the wall like that so the painting is on this side there we go okay so now the wall is between the player and the camera. And so when the player gets too close, they're blocked off, right? They can't go any further, but you can see normally. So this is a good way to do like a, an invisible wall as well. The effect is probably better if we pull this thing away from the camera or away from the block. There we go. So now we can see, you know, we can run around, but um, if the player tries to jump off the thing, it won't work. And there's a nice little indicator showing how how that happens. Um, this is a really super simple technique that I think could be useful in a lot of situations. So if you found this interesting, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, and uh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your guys' feedback. And if you're new around here and you want to see more tutorials, go ahead and click subscribe if you want, and check out my other videos. And before I go, I just want to say I've been working on a puzzle game pretty hard <laughs> for the last couple weeks, which is um, why I haven't been posting as much. Um, if you're interested in seeing the puzzle game stuff, let me know. I'd be happy to make a video showing off some of the stuff that, that I'm working on. And um, 
it should be ready to play relatively soon. I'm trying to get it out before Halloween. So uh, I'll, I'll definitely be sharing more news about that in the future. Um, so I hope everyone's doing well. Staying safe. I'll see you next time.